going on today. First up, bust the windows out your car and tell everyone Jasmine Sullivan is here. <laughs> and she's performing. Well, I yeah. cannot wait. Just in time for Chinese New Year, Jeannie is showing us how to cook a traditional dish with the help of the one and only Mama Mai. Yeah! I love this woman. <laughs> and later, we're jumping into a fun new workout that'll have your health bouncing back before you know it. We're going to boing with Kangoo. Uh -huh. All right, let's hop to it, ladies. How about a little girl chat? Uh, yes, yes. you know we love girl chat, but yeah. all this week, we're inviting some of our biggest and best fans who write to us with something to say to sit in right here at our lovely girl chat table. And now it's time for some table talk. All right. Hey, hey. 21-year-old college student Danielle Hardy watches us between classes every day at 11 a.m. Wow. on Fox 5 in where? New, New York, York City! We are all from New York, so shout out to New York. What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Danielle wrote to us asking for help with something she thinks may be scaring guys off. So we knew we had to help her, so we told her, girl, jump on a plane, get out here, <laughs> get out of the snow in New York, and come visit us in sunny L.A. So Danielle, Come on out, girl! Danielle, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. How you yes. feeling? You look I'm beautiful. so excited to be here. It's like surreal because I watch you guys every single day. Really? Oh, thank every you. Every day from my dorm, my roommate Sade, who loves all of you guys as much as I do. Oh, I love Aww. it. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm 21 years old. I'm okay. a junior at St. John's University. Oh, awesome. Nice. Yes. I'm in a sorority. I'm a sorority girl. I'm an AKA from New Mew Chapter. Yeah, I'm and, out. Um, we gon' forgive you for that. This is a Delta wow. right here. All right. Yeah. Are you serious? Um, I'm also a pageant queen. I'm Miss Clinton, Maryland. And oh, I wow. And I just actually won the Miss Academic Achievement national title in November. Oh, oh good, good for you. Yeah. Yeah. You should be really good for you. Thank you yes. yeah, so much. Thank you. All right, well, Danielle, what in the world could possibly be scaring guys off? Yeah, you seem like you have everything going <sighs> yeah. for you. Yeah, you're beautiful. No, you said smart. smart. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm really having a hard time because I'm looking for this specific type of relationship, mm -hmm. not just a regular one. Okay. So I'm looking for a platonic relationship. Okay. Meaning? Meaning that I'm going to save myself until marriage. Okay. Okay. And <laughs> great. Um, like being 21 and being in college is so hard right now because it's like unheard of. It's like that thing that nobody knows about all of a sudden. And it's really sad because I think more people should do it. Now, when you yeah. say platonic, I mean, I understand you ain't gonna give away the hoo-ha, but uh, <laughs> I mean, do you kiss? I mean, what do you go yeah. up to? Yeah, what's, what's, what, what's, what's off the, limit? What's yes, the boundary? off limit is going all the way. Or okay. anything oh. surrounding. So you can that. kiss, you can kiss yeah. the guy. You can nestle, you can hug, you yeah. can tickle. Okay. Yeah. So what do you but tell a dude when he wants to, you know, That's what, what, do you, I know. what do you say to a, a man when, when does you know, it come he come out? at you? Well, what, I like know? to bring it out from the beginning right. so that there's no, really? you know, Like, like how, how you doing? I'm a virgin. What's up? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just asking. Um, you ain't getting like, none. Bro, so far, I've been doing it on the first date. So we'll oh. talk. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. That's yeah. too early. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we done already have helped you out. Wait, you well, I want to hear what no, she said. No, talk about that yeah. on the yeah. first date. Not okay. the first. Let's witness. You didn't even give him a chance. I like to do it from the beginning so that there's no confusion, like a pop-up. You know, like, oh, I didn't know. You know, so. I like to start the conversation. I'll get to know him a little bit. And then if he asks, like, or either I'll put the segue in to say, oh, how do you feel about certain things? Or mm -hmm. tell me a little bit, like, about yourself. And then I can kind of see, like, what kind of person he is. And then I can just ease it on. And okay. Then... Give, me, give, me, give, me, give me an example of what you say to a guy you've been dating him and what happens. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... I'll be the dude, okay? Uh-oh. <laughs> 
So how you doing, baby? How I'm you good. Doing? How are you? Fine. How are you? Okay. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Mm. No, I'm a Capricorn, and uh. <laughs> me too. No. Oh, oh, okay. See, I okay. knew we had something in common. You know. You know. There, you know so there. you know, can I hit that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Ask oh, him wow. on the Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I redo. Bye. Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> So you want you want to go out on a date? Yeah, let's go out on a date. Okay, all right. Okay. So what are we gonna do on a date? No, we're gonna talk mm -hmm. and we're gonna eat. Oh yeah, I like to eat. I like to talk. We're gonna all have right. some fun. Oh, uh, uh, ooh, and, we're gonna have uh, some fun. All right. Not that kind of fun. Though. What you mean? I mean, I just I just want to let you know that uh, we're not going home after this, so don't get excited. Oh, let me call Jeannie. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I do agree. It's the, and, and yeah. even your demeanor, I know you're acting with Lonnie, but it yeah. seems like you're so um, cool Strictly about it, about it yeah. that you shut it down. You're yeah, like, like, just you're so not you know. Compromise and, on this. Like, this is a deal breaker for I me, got you. Right? I got I you. It. But that yes. can be yeah. a little, that can be a little forceful. Do you guys really? think like, Abrasive. Abrasive. Yeah. How many work? guys have you tried this with so far? <sighs> like in uh, estimate? Less than five. Less than five, okay. And they all were kind of like, uh, uh. I wanna. They are running for the nearest exit. Okay. And like, it's, 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 they don't get a chance to know who you are. Yes, and yeah. I, don't, I think you're doing a disservice to yourself because you're a beautiful, bright woman who has a lot to offer a man. Like, I how do they like react? shut it down like that. How do they react? What do they say to you? Seriously. We need to hear the story about when you had the date the with date. the, the date with the guy. The and, you, yeah. and you had the talk. Uh, okay. So we okay. go downtown. What's his name? Go no, just first name, girl. We first name. Matthew. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead. okay. So we went. We actually went to the movies first. So okay. you know, this is active. That's nice. Yeah. Active. Yeah. Sweet. Um, we went to the movies. We came back like a Chipotle, not like a sit down. Okay. And, like, okay. You know, we we, we all right with that. And we started talking about family and siblings. And then like he asked me if I went to church. I said, Yeah, I love church. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. And he said he went. Oh, okay. okay. Good sign good. so far. Yes. Right. Good. And all of a sudden, I was like, Oh, so how do you feel about waiting? He said, oh, he looked at his phone. He said, I got to go. <gasps> I said, wait, where are you going? He was like, oh, I, I got to go. I said, but we're not done. Like, we just, we just sat down with the See, problem. I, in that left. situation, my mom used to say, you, you just weeded out a dog. Yeah. He obviously was not interested in who you truly are as yeah. a person because, yeah. yeah. And all that, wow. that used to help me. No, I'm serious. Well, I, I if a dude, if a dude is gonna like say, I gotta go right after she says, I, you know, I'm willing to wait. How about respect? Yeah. What did you That's say? I mean, when you were saying, I gotta go, y'all just up and left? I said, well, is it because of this? Because mm -hmm. I've heard it all before. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And he goes, honestly, I'm not here for it. <gasps> and I said, so he, okay. 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 Which I respect, by the I way. I do. I respect, I respect him for being honest. But, but I think that was, it was, that so was rude of him. Rude. Yeah. Very disrespectful. Okay, I want to say something right here because this is your choice. Mm -hmm. And the thing that you're asking us is, how, why are you scaring guys off? And I think you have to find men that are like-minded like you, that can understand you, that will mm -hmm. appreciate what you're doing. You going after them... You, <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Be, let's just be real. I know for yes. me, I, I, w I like the, the bad boys, and, and I, really? wanted, I wanted to change them. So what I would tell you is you're scaring off actually the, the, the right guys, meaning they're the, they're the wrong guys for you. Right. I would say hang around guys that are like-minded, like you, and yeah. they, they won't be uh, afraid. Yeah. This is just my take on things. I just think maybe when you first meet somebody, you just shouldn't tell them that. Okay. from the gate because I really agree. honest to God it's not their business like for, yeah. especially when you first meet them yeah. right? so you know I just think sometimes you know you put that in front of them getting to know you yes. as a person because all yes. they're thinking about is really you know if I start liking her she ain't gonna give me but when you tell then that's, that's the question no yeah, but you tell you tell when you start getting a little closer you get to know him he gets to know you and understand mm -hmm. you know your views and why you think that way and so then he likes you for you yes and right. then he can make there, this, or you guys can make the decision but you there. guys he this is but this is the re mind. I know but this is the reality because I've been through this yeah. okay. what happens is is she's just protecting herself am I right Right. You end up liking this person, mm -hmm. and then when you tell them, this is who I am, this is what I don't want to do, then they tell you, like, Psh, I don't, I don't no, want to deal with that. Saying, when, and then now she has a broken heart. Day, after the third date, I, I, I mean, third, fourth. I agree with what you're saying.
what you're saying to me, but that's going a little far into it because I'm sort of like you. <laughs> I I late waited, meaning I was I was intimate and active, like Born a again, normal virgin. I've heard that something like that. You can call, you can say. label me whatever yeah. you would want. Re-virgin-ize. whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. All I know is, as a teenager, re like, That's what they call it. No, that's what they call it. You can do. We plug it up. What the hell is Like the entire time, I had I had a normal sexually active upbringing as far as like a teenager, old, mid 20s years. Mm -hmm. And it, it was empty for me, honestly. Yeah. And then I thought, you know what? I just, I really love emotionally connecting with men. Yeah. So I just kind of decided, let me put it out there when I find a guy that's mature enough to handle it mm -hmm. and let him know, hey, I just want you to know, like I'm kind of But open. you don't know that on the first day, G. You I don't, got a question. you know it, but I you got know a question from the right me. man, it, a little more farther into it. I so will just get say to know his character 20s, is what she's saying. Early yeah. 20s men. You can't get that. I haven't had any luck. Are you looking for a virgin as well? It would be helpful because then we would be on the same page. Right. And this kind of thing wouldn't come up. Exactly. And if you were looking for someone that was also a virgin. Yes. And you guys could have your first time together. Yes. And I will say there are men out there, Adrian, that do have the same values. Yes, Who there aren't are there yes. few in between, but there are men out there yes. that yes. would appreciate these same values. There are certain clubs in college, because I went to college, there are certain you know, organizations and clubs that you can find, you know, men that, because men don't advertise that they're virgins, <laughs> right. okay? No. First of all, they, no, they, they don't want to look uncool, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, I'll tell yeah. you that right now, yeah. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, you know, there are certain organizations that you can join. Also, I think it's really good, and I know a lot of people don't like this, but just singles ministry at a church yeah. is really good. True. You have to find someone that is equally yeah. yoked Absolutely. like you, yes. okay? I will tell you this, because this is my life. That's really yeah. why I'm, I'm, I'm so passionate about it. In college, I, I doubted myself a lot. Because I was like, why don't, why don't men like, why don't they like me? But you know what, as I got older, it changes, honey. Mm, it men don't want women who sleep with anything and everything. Very true. Yes. I'm sorry. Very true. I'm sorry. But the message that I want to give you is that there's nothing wrong with you. Absolutely. And let me tell you something, girl. Once you do it, you got plenty of time to catch up. Okay. <laughs> okay. And that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. I'm having me some fun. <laughs> oh, my God. That's my message yes, to you. Yes. You are not missing out on anything. No. Right? And you know yes. what? Sometimes it's, 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 this is happening to you because maybe you need to be focusing on something else. Yes. Focus yes. on your study. Focus on getting your life right. Do, you know, don't worry about that. Guys, come and go. Yes, Believe yes. me. But I, I, I want to say something really quick because this is how I found Danielle, my husband of eight years after making that decision to date for five years, not going there with these men. So continue what you're doing because you are going to find that guy who's like, I get you, yeah. I see this, and I want to do this. And it'll be worth waiting for. Absolutely. I Absolutely. promise. I had the best myself. dating life. So did you have a good time? I with had us a here? great time, a okay, great good. time. I have to come back. Have yes, you do. Yay. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. tell us when you meet yes. that guy. Yes. I will. We need updates. Right. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank right. you so much for coming all the way from New York to Thank see you. us. Our next guest has a voice that could bust the windows out your car. Mm -hmm. Today, she's here to tell us all about her new album, Reality Show. Please welcome my girl, Jasmine Sullivan. Yes. You gotta answer or do. Okay, all right, all right girl. Yeah. You better work that red, yep, all right? Girl. Lady all red. Right. Here we go. Right. Oh, come on over here, girl. Most, Most ratchet, ratchet thing, thing you, you do. do. Wait, now, I ain't mean to tell my business now. <laughs> yeah, have a seat, all have right, a seat. Thank you. Most ratchet thing I've done. I think was bust the windows. Really? Really? Wait, you really was, did that? That was real live. I did it. Really? With my girlfriends, yes. yes. Well, see, it worked out, didn't it? Yeah, okay. It worked out. I wrote, wrote a song about it. Song. I wrote a song about it, made it, turn it into a poem. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, Jasmine, I love 
the fact that your music speaks to women everywhere. Yes. 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 Now, are your songs based on personal experience? Um, yes, I mean, it's 50-50. Like, most of my songs are based off of what I go through, but I really try to write songs for women, you right. know, for yes. all women and what we go through go through and just try to be real, so. Yeah. That's right. I love All that. Right. Thank you. Well, first Thank and you. foremost, I'm not gonna let you sit here and act like you're not one of my favorite singers on the planet. Girl, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. I mean, yeah, I'm just saying your throat you. is outrageous. <laughs> and I appreciate it. And you look good, girl. Yes, girl. girl. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> for the <seat> girl. <laughs> Like you said, you write a lot of music for women. Which artist makes you feel empowered? Somebody that I think makes me feel empowered, I would say, is Beyonce. Yeah. Yes. 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 She writes those women anthems. Right. Um, and I, I have a cool story. I went to her show, and you know, I was just going as a fan, and she like shouted me out. And was oh, like, wow. Jasmine, you know, you're one of the best. And I was just, sit I was stuck. I was like, I was so still. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh my God. But I was so, so happy, you know, honored that she would take the time out to do this. Yeah. And, that and she's awesome. a great supporter of yeah. women because she's given us, you know, gifts and yes. she's always supported oh, us, yes, the real. Yes. So thank you, Beyonce, for yes. supporting yes. women. <laughs> Jasmine, I know that we've all had crazy relationships, yeah. and I also know that you put your career on pause after the last one. Yes. yes. So I want to know, what kind of woman can your next man expect? Well, I mean, I definitely think after you go through a relationship, um, you kind of have your guard up. Mm -hmm. But I try to be um, careful about that, because I don't want the next man to have to suffer for what the, the right. last man did. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I, try right. to, I try to be careful, but I'm definitely strong, and I really want somebody who supports me, because I think that's um, an issue sometimes with working women. You know, the man can kind of be intimidated by this. I want somebody who's confident. Yeah, right? Who course. can deal with a real woman. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Jasmine, you didn't, about that. Right. you didn't exactly put your career on pause because you made a lot of music after your last man, right? Yes, yes, I did. Um, even that time out, like, just to deal with myself yeah. and, and figure some things out for myself so that I can grow and be healthy, it was a good time. Yeah. Good time. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. All right, now, Jazz. Your new album is giving us all life, yes. okay? Yes. <laughs> Especially with a title like Reality Show, you have to tell me the inspiration behind the music for this masterpiece, honey. Thank you. Well, Reality Show, of course, is based off my own reality, yes. but I'm addicted to reality shows. Yeah. Yeah. I'm addicted. <laughs> girl, I watch you all the time, girl. I love, I love you. you. <laughs> So I'm addicted, no, definitely. You know, I just, I love reality shows, so. What I are the shows? Be, Tamar and Vince, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Rex, I like Tamar and Vince, too. What? <laughs> 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 that. uh, that's, that's one of the good shows, because it's a family show, you know what I'm saying? But then I like Love and Hip Hop. Oh, you know? yeah. That's my guilty pleasure. That means Happy New Year in Vietnamese. Today, we celebrate one of the most important holidays in Vietnamese culture, Lunar New Year, which a lot of you guys know. Chinese New Year. You guys, I invited Mama Mai to everyone. She's going to be here to help me prepare a traditional recipe we love to eat during this holiday. So get ready, you guys, because we are making my New Year meal. What's the celebration without the perfect outfit? My mom flew here all the way from San Jose, California to bring Ao Yai, which is our traditional Vietnamese dresses that we're we wearing. We have to go down there and show them. Go, 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 go show what? This is my time. <laughs> yeah. when I was younger. Like, you're letting me wear it now, but not when I was a kid. I let you wear one time, but you're acting like a boy. So you wear one time, you rip the dress. I don't want to spend money anymore. Today, you have money. Buy your own dress. Don't ask me anymore. No more, no more, no more. OK. All right. Anyway, you guys, I'm really excited to show you this special dish because my mom used to make it all the time when I was a kid. It's braised caramelized pork with eggs, OK? So get ready to bring in the new year, Vietnamese style. Mom, you're gonna have to help me because I don't know how to do this exactly. So, why did you always make this dish? Okay, back in Vietnam, a long time ago, the rich people, they always cook this one for New Year, happy and healthy. So I follow traditional, every year I cook this one. Oh, got for it. New Year for happy. Wait, are you saying you think you're rich now, that you can make it all the time? I don't think I'm rich, but I know I'm rich and famous right now. You know why? Because you need, you make the big show, the real show. <laughs> You can go, yeah. 
Right, you guys? Okay. So first we're gonna take the pork and you add it into the pot like this and then you pour the caramelized nook mao into the meat. But mom, why, why do we pour this in before we add the spices? That's a good question. Kay. Why you go in the sun and get the tan? You want to look beautiful, you want to look sexy. Same thing the pork, I like color brown, make more delicious, more nice, look good, okay? Oh. Yeah, that's okay. how. Okay, so, so like you're canning the pork. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, I got it, more I got flavor. it. More flavor. More flavor, okay, so the caramel has like a burnt bitter flavor, you guys, but it's really good, trust me, you're gonna love it. So after that, I usually add, you said onion, Garlic, uh -huh. salt, and pepper, right? Right. And then we also add a little bit of fish sauce. So put do I one first. put this one first? Okay. Yes. I'll so put one. this in first, the yeah. spices, and then the garlic and the onions like that. Okay. Okay. Turn it and on. then we add in the fish sauce, right? Right. Right. Okay. Hey! hey no, 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 no. Look at, look at. This is a fish shot. Very strong smell. Okay. Oh. This one, when you put it in, you have to put low a little bit. Okay. Otherwise, you put it too high. The audience is gonna run away, it smells stink, okay? Tastes good, tastes good. The fish sauce tastes good, but you have to be careful. Put low, little Okay, bit. put low. All right, so go, 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 after go. you do this, yeah. then you pour the, the coconut water over the meat, just like that, right? Yes, cover the meat. Okay, cover Thank the meat. You. Yes. You leave it for about an hour to cook, okay? Mm -hmm. And then after that, you have to add the eggs. Now, I remember when I was younger, my mom would put like a whole pot of hard boiled eggs and I would sit there and have to take the eggs right. and shell them. Do you remember this? I make 10 of them. She eats six of them. <laughs> put inside only four. That's I did. all I remember. I love yes. the eggs. I love yes. it. Okay? So, Mom, you ready to show the final dish? Okay. Here we go, you guys. Wow! Jeez! Delicious! So, this... Happy, happy and lucky yes. for Vietnamese New Year! This is a very lucky dish. It's called Good Fortune Pork and Eggs in English, or Thit Kho in Vietnamese. And, you guys, you have to remember to serve it with pickled vegetables. Yes, because this one will be salty, so this one will be sour, you know, balance everything, so yep. make it look good. Yep. Hey, remember, Tamara, the yeah. one with the mole, like yeah. me, okay? Yes. She yes. loves this one. Why yes. don't you give her the Vietnamese pickle? Really good. Yes. She loves it. Because she likes pickles for the baby. You're right, you're right. Good yeah. idea, Mom. Okay. Good. So there you have it, you guys. You don't have to be Asian to bring in the Lunar New Year. All you have to do is dress up, share a great meal with your family, and enjoy the New Year ahead. If you have any question about the Vietnamese food, please call Mama Mai. Looking to add a little pep in your step? Well, we've got the perfect way for you to spring into action. Did you know you could bounce your way into good health? Well, hop to it, people, because it's time to jump around. Oh. All right, here to help us out is crunch fitness instructor, Jasmine Artis. Hey, girl! Oh. Okay, so Jasmine, you teach this fun exercise at Crunch called Boing with Kangoo. Mm -hmm. What is it and what are the benefits? So basically we have these rebounding shoes okay. by Kangoo Jumps. Right. And they have a little spring in them at the bottom so they bounce. Mm. So they reduce up to 80% of impact on the joints when oh. you're working out. So if you have knee pain, joint pain, anyone? Yeah. You yes. Yeah, I knee have pain. Right. They're I a fantastic way to work out and not only that, they make your workout Super fun, which is what we're all about at Crunch. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, and I will have to say, you get used to it the second you, you, you kind of start moving around mm -hmm, in it. So it exactly. looks harder than it actually is. Exactly. So I'm excited to get started. Yeah. You guys ready? Yes, I'm you ready. ready to do this? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's step it up. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. You ready to get jumped around? Oh, you will oh, get the rich and famous Mama My Movie Star. All right, now. Oh. Make sure you consult a qualified medical professional before beginning yes. any exercise yes. program. Yeah. All right, I've heard about the front kick. All right. What are those? And tell us slowly how you do it. All right, so we're just jogging. You're going to kick that right leg forward. Just kick it. Kick. Kick and kick. Kick oh. and kick. Hey. Kick it like a Las Vegas show, girls. Ladies, we're working our quad. Each of your boots weighs two and a half pounds, so you're getting a lower body sculpt. Yeah. Woo! This is good. They just feel like it's going to work. All right. Okay. Now, what's this move I heard called the kangoo ski? Now, you know I'm all about hitting them slow. Uh, all right. So let's hit those imaginary slopes, ladies. Okay. Okay. You're going to jump your feet apart, one foot in front, one foot in the back. The right foot goes forward. Like 
like this. Flip. Kick. Mom. Kick. Battle. Kick. Ski jump right here. Okay, look. Double. Double. 